common. Well, aloha, and how you doing? Gordo the Tech Star here. Welcome to another exciting off-the-scale episode of Hibachi Talk. I'm here with my good old buddy. Oh, gee, I keep forgetting. My name's Andrew. Andrew, just because I ain't been here. <laughs> and the security, security guy. guy. Great to have you guys. Guy. And we're here with Josh, and we're going to meet Josh in just a second. We're going to talk about Rotary, but please grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, and join us for... Um, Another fun-filled episode. So, a couple things I yes. like to do. So, Josh, we'll just bear with me just a second. Man, you've been at the beach. Yeah, oh, a couple times. Man, look at look at this guy. He's, yeah. he's like snow. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've been working. I know. I'm yeah, right. Cave. You've been working, traveling the world, enjoying yourself. Anyway, I got a couple things going on. A little shout out to uh, Hamish McGullible. He's uh, under the weather. So. Hamish, get well, brother. Ha Hamish, get weather. well. Well, we one of our have only, you, uh, only live fans. They do. He's one week. of our live fans. You know, he's uh, he drinks like libations while he watches this show, tweets us once in a while. So anyway, Hamish, get better. And then also, um, I usually have a rant or something like this, but you know, lately Bitcoin has been pretty think. popular and yeah, I've been think. getting asked and getting, I'm doing some speeches on it and things like this. So I thought I would just give a little cryptocurrency note of the week okay. on what's happening Thank in you. space. Um, do you know this guy by the name of Mark Cuban? Uh, yeah. Heard of him? Yeah. yeah. So Mark Cuban said a, a long time ago that he was not interested in Bitcoin. How much does he own today? Yeah, well, he doesn't, he won't say. <laughs> but he, you know, he wasn't that interested in Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin almost hit $2,900 this week. So now it's hovering around $2,600 per Bitcoin. So um, now he's saying that, you know, it's a transport mechanism, um, a digital transport. It's a long shot. It might work. We're not real sure, but he's um, he's now get paying attention to it. He's paying you attention think. to it. Do you think? So what I've found noticed of interest though is when anytime Mark Cuban says something about Bitcoin, it, it goes one it way keeps going or up. the other. Oh. Uh -oh. So if he's a positive on it, it kind of goes up. He's if he's negative on it, it kind of goes on. So is Twitter it? is controlling the market somewhat on what's happening in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Anyway, gold is trading at twelve hundred dollars an ounce right now, and Bitcoin's trading at. 2700 A Bitcoin. A Bitcoin. That's awesome. Market cap of $34 billion. And we got kicked out of the market by Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Department of Commerce and Consumer yeah. Affairs. What can I not say? Fair. Not okay. fair. Not fair. Not fair. Well, you got kicked out. I moved to Great Britain. <laughs> You're more fluid than Well, you know, Angus, it was Angus. He moved to Great Britain. He, I used his Scotland address, so we're all set. Right so. on. Ang we'll talk to Angus about that when he comes on. Okay, so anyway, we're, today we're going to talk about Rotary. Yeah. And uh, I was involved, was involved with Rotary for decades, decades ago. A fabulous organization. And, and Josh, you're you're new at that. But yeah. before we get into this side, let's get a little background on uh, who you are, where you grew up, where you went to school. What do you do besides get go to the beach? Well. <laughs> Um, I'm from Wahiawa originally, but I grew up in Denver, Colorado, and went to college at HPU. Yes, alumni. Yeah. And then so I went to UH. Okay. And yeah. then right. I finally graduated from Portland State University. <laughs> oh, you so made the rounds. I made the rounds. Did I, you go to Lelihua? No, I didn't. I grew up in Denver. Oh, okay. But now that I'm back in Hawaii, um, I, I work at Altress, and I'm oh, okay. a business analyst for their cool. Simplicity HR side. And so I get to work with technology um, day in, day out, trying to find um, solutions for our clients on HR and payroll. I have a client looking for a CIO. We should talk. Okay. There you go. Look at that, man. You get it? work and Business you get work. Business 101, how it works here. And so um, just recently, uh, actually last year, I went to the district com uh, the change of command for the district governor, Clint, and I heard him speak about Rotary. And so I was looking for, I guess, some place to do community service. And after some time, I went to two Rotary clubs. It just wasn't my fit. He reached out to me and said, hey, there's a new Rotary club starting. Um, why don't you see if you if it's something that you're interested in mm -hmm. and so i went we started back in august and just in march we chartered charter charter new rotary so let's do, pause there and come a little bit forward but what you're, you're a newbie so it's great mm -hmm. so what Very is new. rotary so i'm uh, yeah and, and you don't see a lot of millennials people your age in rotary right. it's usually the seniors so what is rotary yeah seniors like him well i <laughs> I, I'm still learning what and Rotary me. is. Yeah. But that's good. So 
when I tell people that I'm a Rotarian and they're like, well, you don't fit the mold. You are. You still have hair. You still have hair. You're not. You still have hair. You can see down the street. Wow. Yeah, so, but what, what Rotary means to me is that it's just an outlet to 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 do stuff for the for the community, to do international service, to meet wonderful people that have the same values that I do, and that's what Rotary is to me. But Rotary truly is. I'm still learning. Okay. Well, yeah, and, and it's one of the things I'll mention because you know one of the things that Rotary is famous for is the fact that they literally white belt polio worldwide. That was one of the things that Rotary did. Been around for decades and so on. It's a great um, way for uh, people to get together. Share values and good ideas. Um, it's it's um, it's just a phenomenal way to get a, a educated about all the different businesses and people are in and what, what they do and so on. And again, a very community oriented. Uh, there's the read programs. There's just a whole number of programs that the local rotaries that the local rotaries do. District the, 500. District 5000 is 5, here. 000, we have 5, 51 clubs now with the new club. Yes. And um, you know the the fellowships a big piece of it. You know, obviously getting to learn about other people in the community and what they do. And, yeah. But then learning, then you go give with them too. So you know, we do local projects. We do group projects. It might be uh, district wide, which would be the state of Hawaii, which we combine club work on. Right. We also do national projects and international projects, which is really amazing. So I know when we were in, I was in uh, formerly in the Metro Rotary, and we did a whole project in Cambodia. Built a huge facility, learning right. learning center, with right. beds and rooms. It's, it's amazing some of the stuff Rotarians take on. You know, like, like let's rid the world of polio. Wow. Yeah, let's you take on I mean? something small. Took a while, but yeah, I mean, they, got, they it got, done. It done. got it done. You know, and so this is, a, it's an amazing organization. I, I, I in particular, like the, the fact that the money that we give into Rotary, um, Rotary has, has a foundation, so they fund all their operations for three years with all the money they collect, and in the fourth year, 100% goes back out the door. Mm -hmm. And that, for me, was a good thing. You know, you, a lot of, of um, nonprofits, you know, have, have a, they all have overhead, right? So, you know, how, how they deal with that and how much money they keep, you know, you give them a dollar and 60, per, 60 cents goes out the door. I like Rotary because that 100 percent so goes back. I just love door. that. I think that's just a great model. So Josh, you've been part of Rotary now for how long? I love this fact that you're the new kid on the yeah, block. Awesome. So you don't have any bias. Yeah, Gordo <laughs> chartered a couple clubs. Yeah, exactly. Officially two months. Okay. So since March, we we chartered. And what's the new one? What's your the one you've chartered? Rotary Club of Pickham Pearl Harbor. So we are primarily military people. Uh, whether they be retired or they're active duty. It's sort of a bridge for the uh, military community with the local community. So this is, for me, this is cool. Having lived here since 1979, been involved in Rotary for a long time, I, I don't know of anyone that was a military, initially a military-focused one. I think it's a very cool thing because of the military and what they do and how respected they are um, throughout the world and, and in this community. So starting when it hit them Pearl Harbor is a pretty neat idea. Yeah. What about all these kids that come in that just get you know relocated here? Yeah, super motivated. So, you know, yeah, they're I, motivated. I come in, I'm just thinking right now. I come in, I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. Yep. What do I know about Hawaii? And what do you know about Rotary? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you know about growing corn. <laughs> well, a lot of the people that are coming in, they are being referred by another friend that's that's in the club. So okay. we started with four core people. Okay, and four. And then from there, the four people in, invited two other people, and then they kept inviting more people. Okay. We reached 20 people, and that was the minimum we needed. Okay. And they all come from some type of military background. There's about maybe four of us that don't have a military background. Okay. Um, I'm one of them, but I'm there more for, I guess, fellowship and community service. And they're community minded. I mean, you know, the, the, the DOD, the military has always championed community True. service. And so for a lot of those folks that are uh, uh, as aspiring to, you know, raise their grade in the military, their pay rate, right? So they, they report in their annual things, the community service work that they do. And so they actually get a benefit as well as the community from the work that they do. And, you know, they're young, they're able-bodied. And so they, you know, they, they're, they're quite a workforce when they show up. You know, it's not better to have 50 Marines come and paint your building because, brother, it gets painted fast. Yeah, that's right. They can. So, so now we, we have a sense for what Rotary does. But so what do you get together once a quarter, once a month? I mean, these are leading questions, obviously. Oh, yes. But, you know, so how does it work? So we 
meet every Thursday. Um, at the beginning, we at what time? At six six p.m. on Thursday. You say six a.m. and some more reason. Six p.m. But we we sort of struggled with finding a home for our meetings. So okay. we first started at Harbor um, Six Restaurant Six So Six on Pearl Harbor. Okay. Um, but then it was just too loud, and we started growing. So then we moved over to Dixie Grill, and then it's was again getting too loud and we started outgrowing it. So we now moved to one of our members um, warehouse conferences, conference rooms. Okay. And so we meet there every Thursday, 6 p.m. And, and, and yeah, we do have a, a geographical area that we're mm -hmm. supposed to serve. So we're trying to meet in our geographical area. Ultimately, we hope to end up at the um, uh, golf course over at the neighboring golf course clubhouse. Oh, the Sam Snead or whatever it was called? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's currently under renovation okay. and they're going to bring in a vendor and then once that happens we should be able to have it. We have a liaison there but we just, they, it's not open so there's Sorry. no, you know, we have to wait for them to open again before we can start to use so it. So you've transitioned, you're transitioning from another rotary to help this rotary? I or started in Metro. You I started in Metro. And then I went to, um, I lost my, I was a Thursday morning group and yeah. I just couldn't deal with Thursday mornings anymore because of work so I started, I went to a uh, Monday morning group and then I I lost my Monday mornings, and so an evening group, I ran into Alan Hayashi, uh, who's been in Rotary for probably 50 years. It's so nice. He's like, we're starting a new club. Yeah. It's on Thursday nights right in IA. I live in IA. I'm like, dude, I can't not join that club. So it was just a perfect fit for me and my schedule. So, so this is one of the values of Rotary, too, is that you can find a Rotary club. There's 51 in Hawaii, uh -huh. fif number 51. Yeah. Um, and so you can find a Rotary that fits your schedule. Yeah, breakfast. there's breakfast clubs, lunch clubs, dinner clubs, after dinner clubs. Ours would be called a dinner club, yeah. I think. And there's a few of those in Hawaii, in uh, Honolulu. So cool. So what do you guys think you're going to focus on? Because you're, you're, like, how old are you now? I'm 35. No, not your age. Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to say that? Your club, I don't care. Oh. Your club is <laughs> we are two months old. Two months old. All right. But we've we've done a lot. We've we've established that we are going to be um, what is the word? Adopting Kalihi Elementary School. And okay. we've already we started our first fundraiser just three weeks ago and we were able to raise seventeen hundred dollars. Okay. Um, that was a great program. Talk about it. So we, when we went to go visit the school, the, the principal told us about some of the needs that the school has and one of them that really like yanked on my heart was that kids come to school without footwear. They'll come to school um, barefoot and just go throughout the day and walk back across the freeway without any shoes. Oh, um, wow. And so, welcome to Hawaii, the only third, only third world country in the nation. Anyway, go ahead. I know, and it's, it's just really sad because you you don't know what kind of injuries they could they could. I have little and blisters on the freaking yeah. asphalt. So what we decided to do is to raise money so that we can donate slippers or some type of footwear for them. And so we started this raffle, or not a raffle, we donation. People bought a ten dollar donation um, so that we can go ahead and buy slippers. Buy slippers and give seventeen them. and seventeen hundred dollars. That's a lot of slippers. That's a lot of slippers. And then we you worked a deal with a slipper yes so wholesaler. Right? So we got some good deals on slippers. We're going to be bringing in about 600 slippers for the school. Think of that. School. So this is Kalihi Elementary. And this is this guy. This is so an idea. This is a, this this is is an a, this is a Rotary. We're going to take, 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 take a break in a minute, but I want to, I've got to say this. It's a Rotary Club that's three months old, and in the course of three months, you've got over 20 members, mm -hmm. many of which are military, probably have been relocated here. Mm -hmm. You raised the money. You bought... Over a thousand slippers, or almost six hundred. Six hundred slippers, slippers for kids that were coming to school barefoot. barefoot. Yeah, how I bad. mean, how cool is that? And you're 35 years old. And he just and started. It's just the he's old just guys getting started. The Rotary just Club is just getting started. started. A rocket. What a great story! What a great story! Okay, believe it or not, we got uh, we're at the halfway mark. Yep. We've got to go take a break. Angus has a question for you. All right, he's been I'll slaving be over it for a long time. Anyway, go to the Texar, Andrew the Andrew the Andrew the security guy. That's me and Josh. I'm here in from the Rotary. Three months old. We'll be back in a minute. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, Hawaii's leading digital media platform for civic engagement, raising public awareness on tech, energy, diversification, and globalism. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Some say scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life.
Hey, welcome back to Hibachi Talk. Andrew, the security guy here with a security minute for you. Don't go out with Gordo tonight because it's his birthday this week and he'll be drinking scotch. If you go out with him, don't let him drive. That's my security minute for the week. <laughs> Angus, what you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, no, you, you, you never let him drive, never let him walk. <laughs> you didn't let him do that. Anyway, he's going to be very happy with that. I uh, hope so. How are you, sir? Uh, good to see good, you, man. Very good. Yeah, nice to see you. You know, you're a security guy, and I have all kinds of questions about security. Oh, okay. So, you know, I keep getting this. It keeps telling me, you know, give me a security password that has eight characters and at least one capital. So I came up with this idea. Okay. okay how about Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Huey, Louie, Dewey, Donald, and Goofy in Sacramento? <laughs> <laughs> That's, Wait, that, oh, those are your characters in your, eight characters in your capital. One, and one capital. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be hard to remember all those. I just want to just want to warn you. Okay. Um, and it's, I'm not sure if that's the exact idea, but, you know, I'm sure that, you know, your enterprise has a policy that it's written that, you know, tells you, tells you what to do. So and you can be one of the characters. Those, you know, characters. I, I like your choice of characters. Okay. I just don't state? think I could remember them. What do you think of the state? I, I, I don't know if that's, that's, that's a capital of a state. Well, it, oh, oh. It's it not a, a state. It means the state is going. <laughs> that's a state of confusion. Anyway, I think it was getting closer. I think you're doing a fine job. Uh, I agree. I, I cannot remember. At least you're Mickey, paying Mickey, attention. Blue, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and whatever. I'm glad you're paying attention. All right. Well, I got it. All right. I think. Anyway, that's it. We're always talking about security. You can get there. Anyway, friends. Hey, well, that account got hacked down data, so you better change your passwords. You better. Anyway, that's what I got this week. And remember, like I say every weekend, let your wing gang free where you be. Aloha. So if Angus is worried about his password, you should be worried about yours as well. Trust me. That's uh, one of the biggest entrees we find is still weak passwords out there or people using the same password on multiple accounts. So yes. thanks, for the, thanks for the reminder, Angus, and great choice of characters. Okay. <laughs> Back Josh, to Josh. Josh could be one of the characters. <laughs> <laughs> so here we're Josh. We're talking about Rotary. Yes, we uh, are. Rotary, you, you're part of, this, part of the founding of the 51st Rotary, Rotary Club in Hawaii. So where do you see it going? I mean, this is a... You're, on a, you're military focused, so it's going to be kind of cool. Well, I think we're going to have we're going to struggle with with military people rotating in and out. True. Um, so hopefully that the people that come here and join Rotary, when they leave, they'll wherever they go, they'll find a Rotary club so that they can continue the work that they started here. Mm. Yeah, I thought maybe we might be like an onboarding club a little yeah. bit. You know, get them a couple years, get them in, indoctrinated to Rotary, and then that way when they go out wherever, because there's, how many Rotary clubs in the world now? I don't even know. Oh, I mean, thousands it's, and thousands. It's, they're, they're around it's the world. huge. It's global. So maybe our club is that on-ramp for them and so that it's something that they take with them and we create a, a great Rotary community out there that was, you know, kind of born out of this club. Yeah, I think that's a go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, and, and as people do come in here, hopefully with our presence in the military, they'll start talking to each other and inviting people to come and join our club, join activities that we're doing, service projects that we're doing. So to spread the word to the the younger crowd. Yeah, I'm thinking of someone that, that you know initially gets into the military, gets stationed here, you know, early on, and mm -hmm. then they, you know, how do I get into the community? At least I, I go to Rotary. Mm -hmm. Now, if I get restationed in Germany or Korea or wherever around the world, this. Rotaries all over the world. The first yes. thing they, yeah, I would hope they would look for is like, where's the local Rotary? I'm still a Rotarian. I'll get involved with that. They're going to love the fact that they've got a rot Rotarian transferring from Hawaii. Exactly. And well, we have one Rotarian right now. She she travels a lot. She's a secretary. And she's our secretary, and she's been to three different countries already for Rotary. She's done two service projects. Um, in a couple months. In a couple months. She's a busy lady. This is a busy lady. And so she, she does a lot, and she is, she is always telling us, like, about
about the opportunities that are out there and that whenever she does go to a new club she feels very welcomed and sort of like a celebrity because we're from Hawaii yeah yeah well, that's true Hawaii and always has that magic piece and it's always fun to host I've done because I've gone to other clubs when I you know and, and you so Rotarians we actually have a fly we don't we don't even have ours yet in in Hickam Harbor we have flags but you when you go visit another club it's traditional to swap the flags with that club and so you bring them back and you kind of accumulate flags and you accumulate stories and you build friendships and um, She's brought, I think we have already a flag from Nepal. We have one from Nepal wow. and one from, oh, I forgot the other ones. We have two. China? Anyway, a flag, you know, the, the fact that you've got a, a flag, they're about this, they're about yeah, like this size, like but from Nepal, which goes to prove my point, there's, there's rotary everywhere. in Nepal. Oh, there is, there's yeah. rotary everywhere. everywhere. And too, I'm thinking, sure. what a great way from the, for, for the military to start finding a way to start giving you comfort when you go from one reassignment to the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I, I mean, you didn't have that. I didn't have that. No, sure. I, I mean, you had USO, but that was different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you saw, well, I was Canada. We didn't have, we had CSO. I didn't even know we had CSO. But just, <laughs> <laughs> we had beer. Um, but, but which just works. Go, you know, which works. But, you know, but being able to go somewhere and say, well, now I'm here, what do I do? How do I know? Yeah, how do I meet people? You know, how do they meet people you trust? Yeah. People that have some of the values, like Josh talked about, brought him in originally, right? So, you know, we have a four-way test. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit oh. near the end or something. But there's, um, there's, there's, you know, there's people that are s selfish, you know, and some people are just busy with their lives. I'm not saying everybody has time to give. Right. But there are others who find value in, in, in taking some of their time to be able to give to the community. Others can give money, and people give in many, many ways. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of avenues of service available, as Josh alluded to, through Rotary. And it's 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 good to find, to meet with people who kind of have that same bent, you know, or that yeah. same interest in the world. And, you know, we it's it's fun, the people that we that we meet, you know. It's just great. Rotary's chock full of great people. It is. And we, we just got uh, a new application recently, Chase. And he researched community service um, opportunities out in Hawaii. Okay. And he found Rotary and then found our club wow. and came and joined us. And he came to a couple clubs or a club, club meetings and realized that he did like it and decided to join. And so it's just putting your name out there, people that want to do stuff for the community, want to um, network with, with businesses, they'll look for us and we are, we're going to open open arms all the way for them sure so so this is i find this interesting because you know there's um and i've had this discussion with people your age uh, and and i'm not it's not a knock but it's not a cultural thing or a, 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 a upbringing kind of thing to to volunteer for organizations like rotary and things like that i i don't see a lot in that 35 to 45 range that are doing that that's the whole reason why i joined rotary is okay. because i was volunteering here and there at, at homeless shelters, at churches, at different events, and I didn't feel connected to the okay. the organization as a whole. Yeah, and the so effort, sure. I, I, as soon as I found Rotary, I felt like I had a say, I, I get to help drive where we're gonna be going and who we're gonna be helping. Yeah, we have a few thousand Rotarians in Hawaii. I mean, it's, yeah. there's- Right, but there's I'd, I'd, clubs, I'd, I'd love to do the ana analytics on it and show how many are above the age of 50 or 45 oh, yeah. and how many are under the age between 35 and 45. And that, to me, is a gap. Yeah, recruitment, I think, is going to be- Recruitment's going to be- yes. And there's no initiation fee. Was there, what is no, an initiation not fee? Not an initiation fee, but there's a- There is a fee annual, to join Rotary. Yeah, and it's like, it's yeah. nominal, though, isn't it? It's like- Couple yes, yeah, a couple hundred bucks. Yes, I mean, it's like ours is two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I think yeah, it exactly. may vary per club depending on what type of a lunch that meeting they have, right? right. So, mm -hmm. some if they have a breakfast meeting and breakfast is included, maybe that's part of the, the, the annual dues or whatever. But but yeah, anyway, getting into it is relatively small, and it all goes for a good cause, and it's charitable donation. Talk oh, to your, yeah. check, check with your accountant, but you know all those kinds of things are there. And and some people don't want to actually join the club, so some will actually just come and join us on the service projects, okay. so that they still get to make a difference. Yeah. Right, get to give back, and they have, and that's a so we you know the the Rotaries um, there's there's they work with other organizations to uh, to get grants you know for example right so there's a there's a project that the Weinbergs they fund a few of these every year that where they actually put in money so you go and do you get a group of like fifty together you go do a large project for a day and the the facility that you're improving perhaps you know maybe you're painting or, or you're doing a landscaping project or something they're going to benefit from that labor but then the Weinberg because you've done that work will, will give you some funds that you can either give to that group or to another group so you get like this double benefit for this community effort that you put out so it's really there's a lot of outreach um, available to organizations that need help 
especially through Rotary. Rotary is a very giving organization. Like I said, there's 50 clubs here, and they're kind of focused in 51. their little, 51, 51, <laughs> and they kind of focus in their little areas, right? So, so again, sort of geographically. So the you know the Wacky Key Club is picking up that park, for example, right? They're yeah. trying to promote that, take that. That's right. They announced that they're going to do that one. Yeah, it's like a six hundred thousand dollar project or something, yeah. right? So you know, some are bigger, some are smaller. Hey, slippers at seventeen hundred dollars and three months old is no shabby. That's right. That's no, a lot of work. That's not shabby. I don't care what anyone says. Just go out and get seventeen hundred dollars and put shoes on these kids. Yeah, just think it's about it. It's pretty amazing. Think about the impact. The impact. And what the, these kids must be thinking, wait, who's Rotary, right? Right. Well, they, the Kalihi Elementary has had two other Rotary clubs. I think Metro is one of them mm -hmm. that went out there and donates uh, dictionaries as well as they painted a stairwell for them. Okay. Um, so they do have some idea of what Rotary does. And there's youth Rotary too, right? Yeah, there's Ryla. The, the, Ryla. What's this called? Ryla, R-Y-L-A, Rotary Youth League Association. I'm not sure the last two. Yeah. Yeah, so but there's so, the youth organizations that mm -hmm. they can become members of and get involved in the community. Rotaract and Interact. And yeah, Rotaract. Yeah, Interact, Rotaract for the, is that for college, college level? Yeah. See, so. I love the fact that we're the novices in here and we're just talking about this and the Rotarians that are watching this show are going to go, we got to get on this show and correct these guys. Yeah. That's okay. That's Come on and help us Come on. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. So, so uh, um, I had a train of thought and I didn't write it down. So, uh, I'm hoping when I talk it'll come to my brain. So, three months, um, you're the president-elect. I'm the president-elect. So I will become president 2018-2019. Awesome. Um, but you I ran did. a ra really hard campaign. I, I really did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was one of four people, and <laughs> lucky me. But I get I get to be I get to watch what our current president Tim does um, this year, and he's building a great foundation for me. So when I take up next year, I can just hit the ground running. Yeah. Now Tim's not a former Rotarian, right? No, he is brand new as well. We're learning. So that's the, the beauty. That's the beauty of it. Is it fresh? Like oh, I'm not awesome. coming it's in great. being indoctrinated into whatever. This right. is fresh. We've got ideas, and we, as the club and the members, mm -hmm. can equally contribute to what you're going to create here. Right. And we do have Andrew, who's also on our club. Who's well, that's, uh, we got to bring in somebody. Yes. Who, who's actually <laughs> Alan. Alan. We also have <laughs> Alan from another club, who's who's helping. Oh, us. Alan's great. And, yeah, yeah. and Kelly, she, they they've all had experience in Rotary, and they're not shooting our our ideas down. They're just like saying, yes, this that's a great idea. Just run with it. Keep going. Give us more. And so, so this is cool. Anyway, believe it or not, we've gone through 30 minutes. We went through it. Yeah, we Let's went give them through the four-way test real quick. Cool. Yeah, yeah, right? things that we think say and do. Yeah. Is it, is the, it truth? the truth? Is it, is it fair, fair to all concerned? Will it will and will, 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 better, better friendships? friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? concerned? <laughs> so that was it. But we're not closing out yet because you get your autograph. Oh, yeah, that's right. So number 120. Thank you. And we didn't give you the heads up on this, but we also say something at the end of every show. Thanks, guys, by the way, for putting this together and making it work again. As we say at the end of every show, and now you're puzzled. Just point, point two, three, just point at the camera. How, How you, you doing? doing? <laughs>